Hello, welcome back to another episode of Bastions and Basilisks, Monster Edition. This time we're talking about a geist, which is obviously when you have a ghost heist. So it's either when you have a ghost heisting, no, no, it'd be a geisting. So it's when you steal a ghost, it's a ghost heist, it's a geist. I'm here a week to try the deal. A geist is an ever-shifting mass of black sack cloth, teeth, and mouths folding in and out of itself and cackling like a thousand frenzied and doomed souls. Created when a haunt kills an evil person, a geist rises from a soul trapped in the plane of their demise, now connected to the dark energy radiating, radiating from haunts everywhere. They wander the world looking for solace and never finding it. In frustration, they turn their malice back, into living and back onto the living, antagonizing any nearby creatures, hoping to fatally lure their victims into the clutches of a haunt to be turned into another geist and share the torment. They just want friends. They just want friends. <coughs> Geists are occasionally mistaken for other incorporeal and dead, such as raids and ghosts, but their proximity to haunts is one of the surest ways to determine the nature of the undead being encountered. Okay. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. Side, the beckoning. Haunts become haunts beckon to geists, attracting them across large distances like animals to a watering hole. Geists fight to defend a haunt if they're within 100 feet of one, although they aren't compelled to remain. Small haunts might have no ghosts nearby, whereas large haunts can attract up to seven. Some instinctively flee the haunts that created them, while others are drawn to the source of their mortal demise by a force beyond their ability to understand. Interesting. I don't know why seven is a specific number. All right. Geist, creature nine. Chaotic evil, medium, incorporeal, undead. Perception, plus 17, dark vision. Languages, common, necral, telepathy, 100 feet. Interesting. Skills, acrobatics, plus 20. Deception, plus 18. Intimidation, plus 20. Religion, plus 17. Stealth, plus 20. Strength, minus 5. Dex, plus 5. Con, plus 0. Intelligence, plus 2. Wisdom, plus 2. Charisma, plus 5. They're a dexterous and charismatic. AC, 26. Fortitude, thir plus 13. Reflex, plus 20. Will, plus 17. Hit points, 120. Negative healing. Immunities, death effects, disease, paralyzed, poison, unconscious. Resistances, all damage, except force, go except force ghost touch, or positive double resistance versus non-magical. Power of the Haunt. If a Geist is within 100 feet of a Haunt that isn't disabled or destroyed, they gain a plus 2 bonus to AC in saving throws and deal an additional 1d6 negative damage with Bite Strikes. A creature that succeeds at a DC 20 check to seek or recall knowledge about the Geist sees that the tender tendrils from the Geist's cloak grow thicker and more agitated the closer it gets to the Haunt. Interesting. Speed. Fly. 30 feet. Melee. 1 action. Bite. Plus 20. Agile, magical, damage, 1d10 plus 11 piercing. Terrifying laugh, one action, divine, emotion, enchantment, fear, mental. Frequency, once per minute. Effect, the Geist unleashes soul-piercing laughter in a 20-foot emanation, Bla uh, lasting until the beginning of their next turn. Any creature in the area or entering must succeed at a DC 26 will save, or be overcome with panicked laughter, becoming frightened two or frightened three on a critical failure. A creature attempts only one save per terrifying laugh, and a creature that succeeds on its saving throw is temporarily immune for 24 hours. Wrath of the Haunt, two actions, divine necromancy. Frequency, once per round. Requirements, the Geist is within 100 feet of an active haunt. Sorry, my nose is very itchy. Uh, effect, the haunt feeds necromantic power into the geist, becoming necromantic, uh, sorry, becoming inactive until the end of the geist's next turn, and deactivating the power of the haunt aura until the haunt becomes active again. The edges of the geist's cloak transform into whip-like tendrils that lash out at nearby creatures. Any living creature within 10 feet of the geist takes 4d10 slashing damage plus 4d10, I'm sorry, 4d6 negative damage. DC 28 basic reflex save. Okay. Okay, I mean, there's a save against it, but that's a, I mean, it's, it's brutal. So yeah, geists, geists are pretty nifty, if you, especially if you're, if you're doing haunts. That's kind of cool. I like it. Still sounds like you're kidnapping a ghost, though. 
All right. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, see you all later.